and we'll kind of give you an offensive side of things and take a look at the scoreboard there not too good for those bottom three on the other team there I'd be quite pissed if that was my team let me tell you so put on my running shoes and I'm gonna book it and uh, when I play this map I send all four to B that's how I do it and you know getting that nade that guy chose a horrible spot I'm not sure why he would come in front of that tank tank is your refuge and you want to utilize it as much as possible and you note note my placement here on the map okay I'm directly in front of the B bomb plant and two nades go off directly behind the bomb plant and you know that case shielded me and I did get the bomb plant off and it's it's a uh, you know it's a good trick it doesn't always work because some people will throw nades shallow and they will eventually get you and I would just want to point out here that I did get quite overzealous and if I had played this quite a bit more uh, laid back or, you know, uh, safer, you could say, where I just, you know, defended the bomb a bit more, we could have got this B bomb plant off in the first 10 seconds of the game. But because I decided to move through candy, I left some open spots as soon as I died, and the other team was able to move in for the last second to fuse. And it's frustrating, it really is, but uh, that's how it is. You try one thing, it doesn't work, so you go back and you try again. And uh, right there, I did try the backside of the bomb plant because I figured, well, hey, uh, they might have caught on that I was in front last time. So, But uh, I don't think they realized where it was, and they were just throwing nades at B. So don't, uh, don't give too much credit to your enemy. Make sure that you uh, adjust accordingly for each, each time you go at the bomb there. Uh, yeah, you know, you're going to see me. My objective on all these types of maps is to just to get in there and you know some people can do it some people can't and I really you know it takes a lot of practice being the objective player and a lot of people will argue that objective takes no skill but uh, you can take a look at my other videos where other people try to play objective and it doesn't work out so well being able to move very quickly having that high ADS on your UMP site is, is crucial it really is so once we failed on B about three times we're gonna plant A and uh, just get us that extra time on the clock you know uh, being shot down on B early on is not the end of the game it just makes you have to adapt a lot a lot more readily and you need to change up your play style change up your routes as soon as A go down because now the team is gonna turtle they're going to cover the four major ways and they're going to really shut you down at every attempt that you start coming into B. Now, a good placement setup right here is where you see in stills there. That's a really good spot to defend against the nade chuckers once you do kind of move in towards B. You don't want people spawning and getting those nades off. So with stills in that kind of garbage can area, center courtyard, he can prevent people from spawning and chucking those nades almost immediately out of the spawn giving you that extra time to get the plants off and uh, letting your team kinda set up on the head glitches accordingly and uh, yeah I, you're gonna comment about that one shot I missed I'm sure I'm gonna have a million people say oh my god you're so bad but everybody you know is allowed one one bad shot a game so right here you're gonna see me run right across while uh, stills kind of picks up the shot behind me and that's it's a good tactic to use one guy flies across the road or the open laneway while the other guy slowly creeps in behind to try and pick off the guy who's shooting but they did get the call out and they were ready for me to come out of that door I'm not sure why he knew I was coming out that door and this is that kind of thing I've been talking about a lot lately is you really don't know if something smells fishy and looks fishy 90% of the time something's not right but uh, you know that's just the way it is now and you're gonna see here again I don't know I don't know what it is but sometimes I'll be running and you try to pull up your gun to start shooting and it just doesn't work so you're gonna see a bit of a route change here repentance calls out that he's set up on tank so I'm gonna move in and try and just sweep by and get that bomb plant again and again and again we do have somebody back of their back of their spawn kind of controlling people making sure that they spawn closer to the waterway road instead of in candy store which is very good very good idea strategy right there force the spawn towards Humvee waterside um, opposed to candy store so 
didn't work out though. There was a missing guy that we didn't see behind the tanks and he did pick off me and Repentance. I'm able to kind of move in fluidly right behind the spawn here. I'm not sure why they didn't have anybody watching this side, but I'm able to move in, kill the respawn, kill the second guy behind tanks, and I am going to plant the bomb. Now right here we have somebody set up in that middle courtyard watching for those uh, watching for those nade chuckers and that kind of saved my life there. And this is something new I was kind of trying, just uh, <laughs> as lame as it sounds, just trying to hide as long as possible. And uh, in case our guys go down, I'll try and stay hidden for the most part and just uh, try and catch those last minute defuses. But it doesn't always work and scrims are all about testing new ideas and new things. So that's what you're going to see me do here. And uh, we'll see that it doesn't really work because some guy comes right around the corner and knows exactly where I am for some reason. And I've I've played this map a lot, and I've never seen somebody come around and just look in that corner like directly first thing, like not even check behind car first, just go right behind and check that corner. But anyways, this has been Holiday Doc. Happy Fourth of July, and I am out.